Welcome to the Weekly Hijack. Hello, uh, Bad Bros. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't know. Why not? All right. We have a lot of people. <laughs> Excuse me. We have a lot of people in the living room today. We won't introduce them all, but if you hear some random weird voices... Uh, <laughs> That's very um, complimentary. Yeah. <laughs> you insult the people you love. Yes, exactly. This was a Doctor Who episode, The Witch is Familiar. Yeah. Which I guess both, like you pointed out, both titles of this two-parter seem to point back to Clara. Yeah. Weirdly, even though, because, I mean, she was a good character in his, but not more than usual. Like, I mean, it wasn't focused on yeah. her. But, uh, yeah. Into this little two-parter, what'd you think? I thought this was a really good episode in lots of levels. I mean, first off, just very solid. Second off, it does a lot of stuff. I kept thinking, man, this is, it felt longer than the hour to me. Yeah. I, like, in a good way. Yeah. Um, and a lot of stuff, but a lot of it very focused on the sort of very close relationship yeah. between the Doctor and Davros, for the most part. Sometimes Doctor Who has uh, things where, you know, the, the ending's all kind of techno babble. But I thought everything was, you know, there's good setup for everything that happens. Mm-hmm. Very, I mean, everything's going to work very logically for Doctor Who episode in many ways. Yeah, I mean, if, if uh, last time was the Moffat throwing everything but the kitchen sink yeah. into it up, so this one was a much, was the more focused. It was very focused and the very, uh, thematically very and, strong. Yeah, yeah. I will say I was pleased that it stayed true to the characters because at, at one point when a doctor was trying to extend Davros's life for the sunrise and stuff, like, part of me was like, this is all really, you know, well and good, but it also feels very contrary to both the like one the Davros would have this radical change of heart and the doctor would be this willing to forgo all his, yeah. their past together and so i like that they were both playing each other the whole time it was a kind of a holmes moriarty thing and and i really enjoy okay that that's the that scene with Davros when he opens his real eyes and stuff even though it ends up being fake uh-huh it's a fabulous scene on lots of levels i like it too because if there is one good thing about Davros it, he has this insane loyalty to his own people Mm. I mean, I think that much is true. Yeah, that's probably it. That that did feel realistic because he did have this very insane, like racial protect your people. Pr- yeah, yeah. I could believe I could believe that part that he was actually genuinely happy that the Time Lords were back. Well, and I, I thought I was going to say because now he has an enemy. But, yeah, <laughs> but maybe true. I mean I'm not. A lot of it was playing. I'm sure you're playing, but the scene taken outside the whole. It's just really interesting because it is you know your two enemies that have this shared deep sympathy for their own people mm-hmm. which is you know kind of the theme of this episode which is enemies and friends are very thinly divided yes i, I thought that was interesting missy brought that out at the end like very literally uh, a friend inside your enemy yeah. that's that, that was an interesting interesting choice going back to the the davros opening guys yeah. thing i would thought it was just surprising that davros actually has eyes yeah <laughs> for, for a long time i thought he actually just because of the makeup thing, it almost looked to me like it was just like empty sockets, yeah. practically. So that was, I thought that was, that was quite a surprise in itself. And, I, okay, the whole scene with, well, okay, Missy's just crazy and insane and wonderful um, and mad. But the scene where she puts Clara in the Dalek and they practice speaking, yeah, that's very, well, I mean, not only is it a great setup for what happens near the end, but it's also just, you know, encapsulates, no pun intended, what a Dalek is. <laughs> 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 That's terrible, Nick. <laughs> but uh, it, what, what, what weirded me out about that at first is that the very first time we met Clara, she was a dollar. Oh, that's right. Oh, I completely God. forgot about that. So that was like, you know, any other character would have been like, oh, this is kind of new, different. For me, that. I was like, oh, that's creepy. Because <laughs> okay. she was a dollar. Well, she didn't remember, so that was a different. Yeah, it was a different version of Clara, technically, yeah. but still, it was ve- it was a weird callback. Any other random thoughts? I was, I was, well, I'll just say again that it does very much feel like a um, season finale sort of deal, True. and it's our second episode. True. <laughs> yeah, I, I meant to throw that out for the. I know. I had to say that. Yeah. <laughs> well, why? Why was Missy? Did she want the Doctor to kill Clara at the end? Is she jealous of her? That's and hard to. S- that's hard to say. I do wonder. She's crazy. Well, she's crazy. But I do think, you know, the whole her whole insane plan at the end of last season was to make the Doctor like herself. And if she can get the Doctor to kill Andalic and then bonus kill his friend, it's a good good way of making the Doctor less... Attached to a human person? And, and less himself. You know, to, to blur that line between her and the Doctor, which at least in the season finale was, that was her whole point. To say, look, we're not that different. 
Mm-hmm. That's what she wants to prove in many ways. That you're like me. She wants <laughs> she wants him to come down to his her level in many ways. I could see that. She was like, you know, you can con- you can have an army with the Cybermen and go and save all these people. You just take this army. And you know, and he was president of the United States or the world or something at the, in that episode. Who? The the doctor. Oh. Like he was he was all power. I mean, he had complete control of everything. Yeah, that's true. Very gutsy in this whole chess game between Davros and the Doctor that he would actually tell him this is how you could kill all the Daleks if you really want to. Yeah. Like he dangled gen- genocide in front of his face and was pretty sure the Doctor wouldn't take him up on it. <laughs> well, if he did, he would have still touched it. I mean, he would have gone in. Oh, uh, that's true. That I was suppose. that was his first trap, and that wasn't working. So he went for the you know for like the compassion, compassion will be your undoing, which he set up. Okay, then, no, that's okay. That's true. So first he did the Dalek way, which is hey, let's hate people. Um, and that didn't work, so he's like, okay, I'm going to have to play this compassion card. The uh-huh. real question is how do snakes act as snakes? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, do they have the same conductive power <laughs> as tables? Like we're watching the doctor. <laughs> I was gonna say they're they're camouflage snakes apparently, which yeah, is they were well yeah. I mean they do make into a whole human, so <laughs> but it helps explain that too. So he it wasn't just a throwaway like, hey, you know, he actually had a secondary purpose and not just like no? here's a creepy yeah, that's bad true. guy. I mean, a lot of creepy Im- imagery in this all around the 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 Dalek graveyard. That's yeah. kind of terrifying. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like ugh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Although there's something to be said about Dalek waste coming back to kill you. The sewers are revolting. <laughs> That'd be crappy. <laughs> <laughs> their waste is trying to kill you. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. What a waste. <laughs> what a waste. What a waste. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, now this has gone down the tubes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, next time, looks like we <laughs> got a submarine. Uh, a New- well, uh, underwater, I guess. Some it, sort of underwater nuclear plant with, with crazy Victorian ghost base things. <laughs> so, do, normal Doctor Who knows. Yeah, pretty, <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. So, we can be looking forward to that. And well, yeah, this has been a very, I mean, very strong and different start for Doctor Who season. Yes. Not so different. Well, I don't know. I, I There's a throwing a lot. Get away from the Daleks and Cybermen and Totally happy. <laughs> well, okay, but, but, but I will give them this. For a Dalek episode, they did enough different. It yeah. wasn't about the Daleks, really. It was about, about Davros and yeah. about the relationship between mm. Missy and Clara. Mm. So it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought this was one of the better Dalek episodes I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. Dalek, well, I don't, I'm trying to remember. The last Dalek episode I remember. Well, there's one last season where they were inside the Dalek. Oh, that's true. But then before that was when Clara was a Dalek, and I like that one, the Insane Asylum of the Daleks. Insane Asylum? Well, it was the Asylum of the Daleks. Asi- yeah. But they were basically we're, insane The there. big planet, yeah. I mean, yeah, I enjoyed okay, that one. But I do, I do think I like this one a little more than... The Into the Dalek one was interesting, but it was a little similar to what we had yeah. done, with, something we had done with the Dalek before. But, but ending the Davros and the, the, forget the expression, more human aspect of Daleks... Because he is, you know, he has at least, you can at least reason with him in a little bit of a sense. Yeah. Oh, no, I forgot. The most important part that we missed was that awesome chair the doctor got. <laughs> I totally want that. For Halloween, can you see me just tool around the school? Like, hey. That was, I, I have to say, Capaldi probably loved being in Davros' chair and flying. Oh, out. yeah. Him being a, like, a Doctor Who uh, like fan from way back. Fanboy, yeah. <laughs> Let's face it, we've all had this nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> there were, and there was, it was just a funny episode, too. Yeah. Was, well, that, Missy's always funny, but... <laughs> it's fun when you get to have a season premiere like this where we don't have to introduce a new, any new characters. I mean, a new Doctor or a new companion. You know, we don't get season openers like this that yeah. often and <laughs> because of that. We cycle through uh, these things and a they, lot. And they set up their uh, their arc about this whole, like, why do you run away from Gallifrey, hybrids of Daleks and Time oh, Lord yeah. thing. And it, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we do see Missy again. Uh, but it sounds like she set up some sort of plan of her own, too. Yeah. So yeah. so we'll see. So stay tuned with us for the rest of the season to see what it is. Dum. <laughs> All right. And so next time, this is Tim. This is Nick. Bye-bye. Adios. Exterminate. Exterminate.